speaking of plan, it is clear that Hamas had one. When the terrorists struck Israel in a shock attack this weekend, part of their plan was one city, Serot. This is a city in southern Israel. It is one of the first and the worst hit. We went there today at the scene of where fierce fighting took place. As we speak, Israeli forces have regained control of the city. They are trying to sanitize it, but it still remains a war zone. There were rocket attacks from Gaza while we were there, and many areas are still out of bounds for people. Here's a report. It's a lazy Saturday in Israel, the Jewish holiday of Sabbath. But down here in Sterot, things are about to take a terrible turn. Here it is on the map, just adjacent to northern Gaza. Distance, about 10 kilometers. The edges of this city are just under 3,000 feet from Gaza. Sterot is among the frontline cities in Israel, and on Saturday, it was a target. Hamas terrorists poured into the city. They killed civilians and took over government buildings. It's been four days since that attack. The first post team visited Sterot to see what remains of the city. We found bullet marks and gutted cars. This is the shopping centre of Sterod. You can hear uh, military uh, helicopters buzzing overhead. Uh, there is intermittent uh, sound of bombs and rockets going off. Uh, and this is where one of the rockets fell. This is what remains of a car. Uh, metal and glass splintered uh, everywhere around this, uh, including on this other vehicle that also uh, bore the brunt of uh, this attack from Hamas terrorists. This happened a couple of days back. Uh, this is a town of some 30,000 people and it has seen more than 100 rocket attacks uh, from Gaza, uh, just a few uh, kilometers away from Gaza. You can see in the background their bodies. I went out, I saw loads of bodies of terrorists, civilians, cars shot up, sea of bodies inside Sterot. Along the road, other places, loads of bodies. It is sad, it is tragic. As news of the attack spread, Israel responded. Their army was dispatched to the country's south, and they came here too, to Sterot. A fierce and grueling gunfight followed. Israel recaptured the city, but not without losing its own citizens. We will exact a very heavy price from Hamas, who will pay for what they did, and this action will be remembered in Gaza for the next 50 years, and they will regret that they started this, and we are responsible for it. At the centre of the siege was this building, at least what remains of it, the police station of Sterot. This was one of the first sites uh, of the attack by Hamas terrorists. This happened on Saturday morning. Uh, they came in and they started indiscriminate fire. On the way here we saw bullet marks at various places, there was a lot of firing. And then what you see behind me, what is being destroyed and raised to the ground, used to be the main police station of this town. And uh, this was the site of an intense gun battle that lasted some 20 hours. It's, it was a very, very long operation. And the Israeli forces uh, indulged uh, or, or, or uh, had to fight a, a fierce gun battle. Uh, a tank was brought to the scene and there were 10 Hamas terrorists who were cooped up inside, who were fighting from inside and they've all been neutralized. And now this police station is being raised to the ground. This entire town uh, looks deserted. Most of the people have left here. Uh, on the way here, we saw virtually nobody on the streets except for uh, security officials, uh, very heavily armed uh, 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 military officials and soldiers patrolling the streets. Uh, we also saw some rocket firing happening on the way here and uh, we were all told to, to duck for cover. Uh, so this remains a very, very tense scene, although Israeli forces say that they have taken complete uh, control of the situation. They're still trying to sanitize this area. The buildings can be mowed down and rebuilt, but the scars, they may take years to heal. And that's what our team learnt here in Sterot. Amid these checkpoints, charred vehicles and piled up bodies, there's no time to ponder through because our return journey to Tel Aviv taught us a very important lesson. The next Sterot could be anywhere. We were on our way to Tel Aviv and as you can see sirens uh, sounding uh, and we got an alert uh, on the radio and on our phones, uh, warning of a rocket attack uh, and the sirens have gone off, uh, they're ringing loud uh, in Ashdod, in, uh, in Tel Aviv and other places and uh, people have pulled over their cars. You can see a long line of vehicles uh, along this road and everyone in these cars has, has 
has gotten off and they're all taking shelter. Uh, as you can see, it's a, it's a very tense situation. On the way to Tel Aviv, uh, we've seen red alert in, in various places, including um, in Eshkelon uh, and other places in, in southern Israel. So while the Israeli military says that the situation is completely, uh, that they have, they have taken control of the territory, it still remains a very, very sensitive zone.